interested in themselves in the Harrier jump jet in the mid-70s, and today they formally took delivery of the first of six of them, four Sea Harriers and two two-seat trainers at the British Aerospace Airfield at Dunsfold. The second in the line stood out in the open, still in its coat of primer paint, as the first was put on display in its spanking new coat of paint in the Indian Navy's colours, ready for its ceremonial entry into service. It's not often that such formalities are seen in British aircraft hangars, a startling meeting of the ancient and modern, as the wife of the Indian High Commissioner in London festooned the Harrier's nose with a giant garland of marigolds, a ceremony of religious significance, followed by the ritual smashing of a coconut on the hangar floor to signify fertility and success. That done, the Harrier was towed from the hangar, with the garland still hanging in place, for a celebratory display by the aircraft company's chief test pilot, John Fairley, virtuoso of the Harrier. Four Indian pilots are already qualified to fly the aircraft capable of this extraordinary aerial ballet. Many more will follow them through the course at Dunsfold before the Indian Harrier goes into service on the Indian Navy's single aircraft carrier.